Welcome to Biomedical Ultrasound, Fundamentals of Imaging and Micromachine Transducers. I'm Carla mercado Shaker, a faculty in the Department of Biological Sciences and Engineering at the Indian Institute of Technology, Gandhinagar. Hello, I'm Himanshu Shaker. I'm a faculty member in the Department of Electrical Engineering, also at the Indian Institute of Technology in Gandhinagar. And we will be co-teaching this course with our colleague, Professor Hardik Pandya, who's from the Department of Electrical Systems Engineering at the Indian Institute of Science in Bengaluru. Now, what is imaging? Imaging refers to creating a visual representation of a target object's form. We use phones to image and create images using our cameras. We also own a remarkable natural imaging system, the eye. Our visual system creates images with optical parts, such as the lens, and also sensors, which are rods and cones in our retina. There's an intricate biological signal processing that goes on in our brain, which enables our vision. Interestingly, both our eyes and the cameras operate using visible light for imaging. And what is medical imaging? Medical imaging refers to technologies that are used to view the human body to guide, diagnose, guide, and monitor treatments. Before medical imaging was available, autopsy was the main source of knowledge about inside the human body. Not being able to image live can be misleading. Yes, certainly, Carla. Do you know the literal meaning of the word artery? No, what is it? Well, the word artery originates from the Greek word arteria, which literally means windpipe. Oh, that's surprising. Arteries contain blood in them. So why are they called windpipes? Well, it turns out back in the day when autopsies were performed, when the arteries were cut open, nothing was found in them. So the people assume that arteries carry wind. Oh, so we should be able to look inside the body live without even cutting it open using medical imaging. That's right. How do medical imaging modalities work? We can utilize approaches to visualize physical property of the target of interest. For instance, attenuation, such as in X-ray imaging and computer tomography. We can also look into proton spins, like in magnetic resonance imaging, as well as scatter, for instance, ultrasound scatter in tissue. Right, and we can send and receive energy to create a distribution of these parameters. So for example, here are some machines that are used for imaging, different modalities, X-rays, computer tomography, magnetic resonance imaging, and ultrasound. And what is ultrasound imaging? Ultrasound refers to sound frequencies beyond the human normal range of hearing, beyond 20 kilohertz. Now, high frequency ultrasound that is currently being used in the clinic range from two to 15 megahertz. Ultrasound is a safe, relatively inexpensive and portable imaging modality. And the most common use of ultrasound in the clinic involves fetal imaging. So for example, here on the left, you can see an image of the fetus inside the mother, mother's womb, and the age of the fetus is four months. Now, what will you learn in this ultrasound course? You will learn the physics of ultrasound, the instrumentation involved, signal generation, how ultrasound images are reconstructed, as well as various clinical applications. We'll also delve into developing and characterizing ultrasound transducers and several microfabrication techniques that are used to develop ultrasound transducers. These techniques will be taught by our colleague, Professor Hardik Pandya. After you complete this course, you will be equipped with the basics to take a deep dive into this interdisciplinary field of ultrasound imaging. And you can also consider contributing to this field either in industry or in an academic setting. So we look forward to seeing you in the course and happy, happy learning. learning.